And good morning today. We're going to um, do a photo transfer onto a old pair of leather trainers. If you've got like the curse of the big feet like myself, um, you'll understand that you cannot get any design or um, Disney print or any print um, in your size, size 12 and 13, which is a curse. But also this method will also enable you to go past that. So what we're going to do is do a third transfer on these pictures. I'm a bit Disney mad, so I like the old Lion King. And we're going to be using Modge Podge Photo Transfer. I've already tried it once. Um, I didn't leave it long enough, and so fail. But I've now scraped it all off, and we're going to try and go again. Also, um, if this doesn't work, um, next time we are going to try and do a decoupage of the pictures. Go and get started now. Um, take your pictures at the back of this trainer. You can see it's the Adidas. So it's got like a lining here. This is what um, caused the image distortion on my actual trainer the first time. So what I'm going to try this time is cut them in individual parts. and see if we can go past that way anyway. Um, first of all, get your images in place and get your Mod Podge with your paintbrush. And generally, put the Mod Podge all over Continue that process until the whole entire photo is covered. Let's wreck it up quite quickly. This is quite a quick process to be honest. We've seen many tutorial videos um, showing this. So hopefully this might come out. Once finished Generally apply to the back of the shoe. As you can see it's there, just set in for two secs. So we'll just apply to the shoe. Continuous process until the whole entire shoe and the area is actually completed. Once the shoe is all completed, Take your first image, which will be the center. This image here. And just apply to that center console bit. Apply some pressure as you go along. Take all the air bubbles if possible. and continue the process until the shoe is complete. So now you can see that the actual shoe is now covered. There's some air bubbles that need to be pushed out, but we'll do that in due course. Now we'll just leave that for 24 hours we'll start our process see how that actually comes out I hope it works this time hey fingers crossed you can see here I have started to do a decoupage on a pair of Adidas um, trains that be just knocking in the back of my wardrobe um, it's pretty simple this actual process is just get your picture flip over Get a bit of the old modge and literally just coat it. Get the image where you want to place it, apply the pressure. Do this until you've got it into place. I 
I think these are going to turn out quite well, actually. Um, might even turn out better than the actual photo transfer. But as you can see, it's all gone down the line. So I've still got the Adidas line in, which I have some plans for in the future. So just let that dry for a little while. As you know, the paper does get wet, it does, um, will be destroyed. So what my advice would be to you would be is to get a sealant. So get the Mod Podge sealer or any sort of sealer to actually um, bond it on and give it a waterproof coating. You see, I've actually selected my next image um, for the side of the shoe, but I did come up with a really good idea. If you actually get your trainer and get to a photocopy or a scanner or anything like that, if you actually scan the image of the actual shoe, if you see this line around here, you won't need to cut out so much and try and distinguish it. So actually have a template of your actual shoe line marks. Let's see how this goes, eh? Welcome back. As you can see, my old trainer is now completely customized. All I need to do is wait 24 hours for it to dry and put the sealant on. But it looks pretty smart if I do so myself. Do you like the back bit? Yeah. It's easy as, easy as pie. Bit of glue. Laser jet printer. And wham, you're away. I will be tidying up the edges. And I'm thinking about doing something on the tongue, but I'm not too sure about that yet. But like I said, this stuff will just peel off. Yeah, impressed. Back. Um, just to let you know that it has been saying for nearly 24 hours, well, 23 and a half hours. Um, I've pre-wet the actual heel to see if it actually comes up. I can see maybe a couple of spots it may not shine through, but we'll give it a go. And what we're gonna do first, Give it a rub and see if it transferred. Looking good so far. Oh, yeah, it didn't attach. As you can see, here, when I started rubbing it, it just came away. Well, I'll continue the rest of the show. That's exactly what happened last time. So maybe it's not the fact of leaving it as long as you want it to be left. Oh, yeah. Not as good as I want it to be. <laughs> but, not bad. I've actually cut to it 
but you can see by the edges. The picture's quite visible, but it's all split. It looks a little bit amateur, to be honest. So, double fail, but learn by my mistakes and don't apply to a leather shoe. Well, not for a transfer anyway. So, what we're going to do with this one, we're going to decoupage it like the last one. See how it turns out. That I think I might have um, underestimated the actual decoupage. I've just had a look, and this one is photo transfer medium. It might not be the medium that you want to be using, it might be the actual photo transfer um, solution. So, I'm going to try is transfer this image onto wood. See, all the tutorials are online that are all basically saying wood. So, got a wood, got our image. Got a transfer. Turn around the other side. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Do. Just, just smother it on. And do the same for the actual print. I just need to show if it is the fact of. So if it is, or could it be that I'm using a laser jet? I've said it could be a laser jet or the ink jet um, reasoning, but now I've actually affixed it to the actual wood. I'm going to give it 24 hours and I'll um, come back to it. Um, I hope it works. If it's not, then I'm going to have to reconsider what method of glue we're going to be using. But is the average guy that's actually doing something, not an art channel, just someone that's just been inspired? 24 hours has gone past. Um, we're coming back to the decoupage and the um, test to see if it's wood or leather or if the glue's a bit faulty. Um, so here it goes. So I've been advised to damp it down first. You see the print is coming out. See gaps like this. I oh, didn't stick down right. Oh, Too much glue. Right. Truth is in the pudding. So so far, I'm seeing a very good result. Well, we'll come back to this in two secs. Main review is it's worked. Leather does not work. We're doing this salt. Maybe a decoupage or something like that. Um, just a bit of advice when doing the edges, go a little bit softer. You can see here, here, and here. Maybe coat up the corners a bit more. 
but yeah overall I think it was a quite good result but, I'm all happy with that. It could be even the quality of the paper that might come into conclusive it. But either way, it worked. And ladies and gentlemen, we're going to come to the final part of our decoupage shoe. You see, it's dried quite nicely. There's a couple of lifts here and there, but nothing that can't be solved. So take glue. Go on a craft glue. And literally, smother it on. This should need about two to three coats. Why don't I give it a nice seal to get all those loose edges down? You can see them ones there. And also, the beauty about this. It dries clear. It's drying already. Let me do one side. You're wondering about the loose edges, so all the whites around the sides there and there. Won't worry. And we're going to do them. Just turn that around. Like I said, generously give it a good old first coat. Make sure the whole trainer is coated. Even the back. Because the back's what gets kicked up the most, isn't it? I'm going to let that dry. I'm going to do the other one, but I'm going to let that dry for now. Then I'll come back to it. I'll get three more coats, let that dry, and then I'll show you what we we'll do with the excess glue that's around the edges. I found out a method. I'm going to see if it works. Well, ladies and gentlemen, um, just want to let you know that I did um, do some epoxy, and it's made it waterproof and rock solid everywhere it did rain last night i did take him out and there's no damage to be seen to be honest um a couple of bits and pieces like i said this is just like a rough mock-up of what they could look like um if you've got more time in your hands and you um, want to do it then you can actually um, make them more perfect but epoxy brilliant idea go for it